Hi, Sean Vistatainer here from the Silverbow Fly Shop. Today I want to talk to you about what are spay and switch rods and some of the advantages they can have for you when fishing trout or steelhead rivers in the northwest. Stay tuned and we'll get going in just a second. When we're in the shop talking to customers about two-handed rods, we get the question a lot, what's the difference between a spay and a switch rod? So let's take a look at spay rods first. Spay rods are 12 and a half to 14 and a half foot in length on average. Spay rods are more conducive to swinging large western rivers for trout or steelhead, whether using floating line techniques or shooting heads with sink tips. So now let's look at switch rods. Switch rods are a little bit shorter than spay rods. They're 10 and a half to slightly over 12 foot in length. They're a little bit lighter than spay rods too. Now you can use the same techniques, swinging techniques with switch rods as you do with spay rods. However, switch rods are very conducive to nymphing tactics, especially on smaller waters. So a great tool for swinging, but also a great tool for nymphing. So one of the main obvious advantages to spade cast is there's really no back cast. This is not like a single hand where you need to have plenty of room behind you. Most of this cast is actually in front of me. And the great advantages are is if you're tight to the bank, you have a lot of brush or trees or rocks, we can work around that. Since all this cast is in front, you don't have to worry about that anymore. So it makes, a, makes it very easy when fishing in tight quarters. The second great advantage to spade casting is the ability to cover more water. Now obviously you don't have to make a big cast with the spay rod, but when you want to cover more water, spay rods are more efficient and take a lot less effort than a single hand rod. Another great advantage to spade casting is the ability to deal with wind. Now and today we got a slight downstream breeze, so casting off my right shoulder isn't necessarily a good thing because the cast can get blown into me. In this situation with the downstream breeze and the river moving to the left, I can actually use a spade cast off my left shoulder and eliminate any chances of actually fouling the line on myself. Let's take a quick look at that. With that cast off our left shoulder, I don't have to worry about the wind. I could still lay out a, a nice long cast and cover the water a lot more efficiently. So the fourth advantage that spay and switch rods have over single hand rods is their ability to cast heavy sink tips and heavily weighted flies as well as split shot and indicators. These rods are a lot larger and a lot longer and have a lot more horsepower than a single hand rod. So when casting these heavy rigs for trout or steelhead, it makes really easy work. Let's take a look at this. Here I've got a 10 foot sink tip with a heavily weighted fly. And we're fairly tight to the bank here, so I really don't have a lot of room. But with this spay rod set up, this is gonna make pretty easy work with this particular rig. So we're gonna get ready here. And this cast we're doing is actually called a snap tee cast. It's very easy to learn. Just a couple little moves. You can see how efficient it is when casting those heavy sink tips, split shot strike indicators on these large western rivers. All right guys, that wraps up our segment on the differences between spay and switch rods as well as some advantages that spay casting can have for you on trout or steelhead rivers. Stay tuned for more videos on two-handed techniques as well as check out more fishing tips on our YouTube channel. Silverbow Fly Shop, and also check out silverbowflyshop.com for more fishing information. Thanks.